factory reset, the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S, 1.33 gigahertz, 32 gigabyte, Windows 10. If the machine is very similar to this, the reset procedure will be the same. First thing we do is power it on. Give it a few minutes to boot up. Left click the mouse. There's the sign in screen. It wants a password. A password that you don't have. A password you don't know how to get. A password you're never going to figure out. So click OK. Let me zoom out a little bit. Put the mouse over that power symbol at the lower right. Left click once. Let me zoom out a little further. Whoop. Get the mouse over the restart, but don't push it. Now we're going to hold Alt and Shift, those two keys. And then we're going to left click the mouse that's sitting over the restart icon. Let off the keys. That's the screen that we want to see. Use the arrow key to go down to troubleshoot. Hit the enter button. Reset this PC. Enter. Remove everything. Enter. We do a lot of waiting on the computer in this procedure. So I recommend that you do all drives. Take that choice right there. And you select fully clean the drive. And I'm going to explain why you want to do that. The reason why you want to do that is because when you delete something on your hard drive, that information doesn't really delete. What it does is it tags those addresses as being available to be overwritten. So I know that you think that when you went into that computer and you deleted that file, it's actually, it's not. Unless the space where the file was has been overwritten. So what the computer is going to do now is the computer is going to re, it's going to delete the files that have been put on it and then it's going to overwrite that with something else and delete it again so the information is truly deleted it takes it, it can take a while so just bear through because when you're done you're gonna have a Lenovo 
IdeaPad 100S that is completely factory restored, even if you don't have the password for it, for any number of legitimate reasons, of course. Thank you for watching.